good morning all my dear students as you know exams are approaching so we are here today to revise our first chapter from the english reader the chocolate room it is an interesting excerpt from the book charlie and the chocolate factory which is written by world renowned british author roald dahl this story revolves around the adventures of a young boy charlie bucket inside the biggest chocolate factory of the world and this chocolate factory is owned by the chocolatier willy wonka charlie comes from a very poor family he lives with his bedridden maternal and paternal grandparents as well as parents he is undernourished because he does not take any extra food so that any family member would not be deprived of food he is fascinated by the stories of grandpa joe which he narrates to him about willy wonka they come to know so once they come to know that willy wonka has secretly hidden a golden ticket in each of the five chocolates these chocolates were then sent to different parts of the world and anyone who found the ticket would be allowed to visit the factory and also would win a supply of confectionery for entire life so apart from charlie four other children win the tickets the children are then accompanied by their parents whereas charlie takes grandpa joe along with him now willy wonka shows the children around and also takes them to the chocolate room gradually all the four children get eliminated one by one and charlie is the only child left and he wins the prize actually willy wonka wanted to find an higher and charlie is the only child to pass the contest now willy wonka takes them to the chocolate factory and specially to the chocolate room and shows them what it looked like now he says an important room as he takes a bunch of keys from his pocket and slipped onto the hole of the door he told the children that this is the nerve center of the whole factory the heart of the whole business now as soon as mr wonka opened the door what the children saw was really an amazing sight they were looking down upon a lovely valley with green meadows on either side along the bottom of it flowed a great brown river and half way along the river was a big waterfall and that water it went down into a boiling churning whirlpool which was full of froth and spray and the most astonishing sight was just below the waterfall there were enormous glass pipes dangling down into the river somewhere high up in the ceiling and sucking up that brownish muddy water from the river and above the noise of the gushing waterfall the in-season sucking sound of the pipes could be clearly heard now mr wonka suddenly began to dance up and down and pointed the gold topped cane at the great brown river as he cried look at that all that chocolate every drop of the river is hot melted chocolate of the finest quality and dear children that chocolate was enough to fill every bath tub in this entire country as well as the swimming pools now the children and the grandparents were absolutely amazed and dumbfounded they could not utter a single word mr wonka now continued the waterfall is the most important that is mixes the chocolate it churns it up pounds and beats it well and it also makes the chocolate light and frothy and he further says do you like my trees bushes meadows the grass and the buttercups and don't you think they are lovely then they told them that they all are eatable yes all those bushes trees buttercups they all were eatable the grass on which they were standing it was a new kind of soft minty sugar that had been just invented so willy wonka tells them to why not just try a blade just try to taste that blade of grass now everyone bent down and picked up one blade of grass and as they ate it and as they ate it what they found was really amazing as it had a wonderful taste and grandpa joe further said i could go round on all fours like a cow and eat the whole field of grass and they even tried buttercups 
trees and even the bushes around them they all were really amazing and had a wonderful taste now as they were having a look around suddenly one of the children they started screaming and what that child was speaking he is moving and walking it is a little man down there below the waterfall so one of the child one of the children saw some little men who were walking below the waterfall now charlie also got surprised he told grandpa can you see the little man grandpa cho said exact excitedly yes i can see them charlie now others also began to shout in excited voices and there were these little men who were dancing and having very strange look now charlie said but they just can't be real people like us all were wondering who were they as they were not like normal human beings or or they did not look like them then mr wonka answered of course they are real people and these men are known as oompa loompas so i hope my dear students uh, you must have understood the story of this chapter so just go through it once and in the next lesson we shall discuss the question answers of the same so till then do your work properly prepare for exams and have a great day ahead